Ça me plaît beaucoup d'avoir un fiancé qui sait cuisiner. I really like having a fiancé who knows how to cook. Vous verrez. You'll see. Nina Lynn here, wellness coach and woman following her dreams. Today in the wellness moment, I'll be talking about diet. Stay tuned. So, um, my darling, tell me what you like about this pub. Um, oh, the atmosphere. Um, I can't feel, hear you. The atmosphere. Okay. Um, <laughs> I feel uh, very welcome. Uh, I can just relax, have a drink, and um, be with you. That's very sweet. And so we like to come here when dinner's in the oven. Yes, like we have chicken in the oven right now, chicken and potatoes. Yes, so we've got 45 minutes. Oh, we have 45 minutes and it's just, it's just super close and it's really easy just to come here and have a drink. It's a really nice atmosphere, very friendly. Uh, people were here tonight watching football, which would be soccer. Um, et voila. Well, voila, voila. But I'm enjoying very much indeed. And, um, <rire> On vient de finir un repas, euh, c'était tellement bon, et c'était quoi chérie C'était de l'agneau, L'agneau. avec des légumes, ah oui. voilà, et, euh, et des pâtes. Euh, et des euh, pâtes. C'est pas grave, c'était bon. Et nous lamb, um, some leftover pasta, and vegetables. Et voilà. Um, et du vin rouge. Et du vin rouge aussi, bien sûr. Ah oui, euh, comme d'habitude. Ah, et euh, en fait, boire le vin rouge, c'est une partie d'être français et française, oui euh, Ça fait partie de la culture française, bien sûr. Euh, c'est un devoir, on va dire, de citoyen, enfin pour la plupart. Mm. Et euh, c'est tellement bon qu'on ne sait pas comment s'arrêter. Oh, <rire> ok. Oui. Voilà. Oh, we don't know how to stop. But mm. um, yes, drinking wine, um, in particular red wine, is really part of the French culture. And you start à quel âge? Oh non, à 16 ans, j'avais un verre de temps en temps. Euh, J'ai bu, on va dire, du vin euh, au quotidien à partir de l'âge de 19 ans. Okay, so voilà. around 15 or 16 years old, you're going to drink it at home and then everywhere at like 19 years old. Not a problem. Um, and even my family served it at the table when I was 16, so. I wouldn't know about that. There so. you go. You weren't there. Because um, <laughs> you were like six. Well, I, okay. wasn't, I wasn't born. <laughs> you, weren't, you weren't born yet. Oh, no, that's not okay. That's <laughs> not even true. Okay. Bonsoir and welcome to our kitchen. We are going to prepare croque monsieur and croque madame. Uh, here are the ingredients. Ham, milk, flour, cheese, butter, bread and eggs for the croque madame. Croque monsieur is a toasted cheese and ham on bread with a bechamel sauce. Bechamel sauce is flour, milk and butter. Let's begin. I am going to prepare the bechamel sauce. Uh, first, I'm going to melt the butter, then add the flour to it, and then milk, stir it until it's thick enough. First, a sip of wine for the chef. Thank you. Mm. Let's start. First, I'm going to put the ham on the bread, spread the bechamel sauce on the ham, put the other piece of bread on the top, and then sprinkle the cheese on the top, and then put everything in the oven for 20 minutes. Voilà. Bonsoir, c'est délicieux, un peu difficile à manger, mais <rire> délicieux. Mmh. Ouh, quelle belle couleur chérie, tu fais quoi 
un plat, un plat bien français qui s'appelle la ratatouille. Ah uh, oui, cool. La ratatouille, which is uh, uh, aubergine, eggplant, uh, red or green peppers, courgettes, onions, garlic, and very important uh, basil at the end. So we cook mm. all the ingredients separately, ah. and we add everything together in the end. Uh, we add the tomatoes in the end. Uh, it should not take more than 20 minutes. Excellent. Can't wait. Mm. Merci. Et alors, on va commencer avec un apéro, du vin, du pain et du fromage. Excellent. I just added the basil. Um, it's going to take another 10 minutes. Uh, it will be ready. Et voilà, bon appétit. Merci pour le dîner, c'était délicieux. Euh, je t'en prie, de rien. Ah oui, très bien. C'était bon C'était tellement, tellement bon. Merci. Euh, moi aussi, merci. And now for a wellness moment. Diets are confusing. Why does one work for your neighbor, but not for you? Or for your husband, or for your friend, but not for you? Well, there are many pieces to the puzzle that have to fit just right to find an appropriate and the most effective eating plan for an individual. One of those factors is the biochemistry that drives our metabolism. That can vary greatly from one person to another. For instance, for me, I metabolize my nutrients very slowly. So to have steady, balanced energy throughout the day, my balance of nutrients need to be mostly carbohydrates. Nicola, on the other hand, burns through his nutrients very quickly, so he needs to balance that with more protein and fat in his diet to keep his energy steady. Another factor to consider is the overall state of your metabolism. There are a lot of damaged metabolisms out there that can occur from crash diets or overtraining or just not giving your body what it needs. And a damaged metabolism causes imbalanced hormones. Now I'm speaking mostly of cortisol and insulin. Those are the big players that will affect all your other hormones. What that would look like is weight loss resistance, fatigue, brain fog, difficulty sleeping, not being able to handle stress, and that can all snowball into insulin resistance, hypertension, and obesity. And those three taken together are metabolic syndrome. So we want to shift the patterns before that develops. And because your hormones react to more than just what you eat, they react to how stressed you are, to your exercise or lack of it, to your sleep or lack of it, um, and even just to your mindset. So there are a few things you can do to help to balance the hormones and make you feel better. And This isn't really diet advice. I think we all know that there's no one diet that works for everyone. This is just common sense that, that you can start implementing right away. First of all, you can eat whole foods and not processed foods and please organic. So eating organically, you're going to avoid pesticides, namely glyphosate. Processed foods are full of damaged fats, way too much sugar, a lot of overprocessed salt and just a ton of nasty chemicals. You can also exercise moderately. You can work on getting more sleep. The experts say seven to nine hours is ideal. Um, you can practice de-stressing techniques. You can hold a positive attitude. Now, I know it is not easy to make changes, to maintain changes. So please get support if you need it for this. It's difficult to make changes, but it's always nice to feel better. Et alors, bon courage. I design individualized eating plans for my clients and help them to implement healthy choices. I've attached a link to my website in the description and I would be happy to speak with you. Merci d'avoir partagé tes quatre recettes, chérie. C'était délicieux. Ben, tout plaisir, c'est pour moi. Très bien. Voyons. Just thanked him for sharing those delicious recipes. And um, next week, join us while we run some errands and get into trouble. 
You're always getting into trouble. Not um, always. I yes, no, yes, yes. I'm really working on it. But um, we'll see you then. A plus. Au revoir.